Greetings, everybody. This is Adam Carlson from Chip Theory Games. I have uh, Josh with me here as well. We are hello, doing hello. a versus game of Triplock, our latest game. Woo. Um, so, anyways, we're just here to kind of show off the game. This is going to be our first recorded full gameplay. Uh, what you're looking at is still the prototype. Some of the components' qualities will change. Uh, the map we're just using to make it easier to uh, see what's on the board here. Um, as you've seen from my other videos, I give you an overview of the components. Uh, we've got our mechanics and yeah, everything else and uh, I'm sorry, mechanisms. Um, <laughs> Josh, feel free to chime in and correct <laughs> me here. But we've got our characters. He's going to be Charlie Beckwith and I'm going to be Dante Har Harvard. We're going to set up zero We're points each. Um, so to open the game, I'm looking away and he's going to mix that up and... You go ahead. Um, yes. So this is my turn now to just kind of stir this up a little bit. Alrighty. Okay, let's play, let's play. Okay, we each start with a diagram. We're going to pick the side that we want to start with. Um, I'm just going to make sure that we're recording while we do this. Totally gonna win me the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, we're we're picking an orientation right now. Um, this is the doesn't have to be the ultimate one we go for, uh, but it is the one that we're setting our diagram to initially. So that means that in order to change this, I can look at it anytime. But in order to change it, I'm gonna have to use an action to do so. So therefore, it's kind of a big deal what you pick or what you place it down as. Okay. All right, am I going to go first? Okay. All right, so I have uh, two options on my turn right now. Um, that is to play this skill that I have. I have three different things I could do there that are unique or, or general to each of us. It's the points. I can climb the points ladder. I can take multiple actions or I can freeze um, or reset the skill beads, mine and my opponent's. Um, I also have my character skill, uh, which is for Charlie, she can lock down a stack um, at a particular time. Right now, I'm gonna just give myself some actions. So in this case, it's a two turn process. Uh, so next turn, I'll be able to benefit from one extra action roll. But right now, I'm gonna roll my action dice. Nice, I got a peak and I got a reveal um, or so I can uh, reveal an action card or a diagram card I can conceal one of my own or I can alter one of an opponent's so um, uh, or my own so that's actually going to be great I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm going to alter this one to this that's this one and at any time, I can just take a peek and make sure I, I know what I'm going for. Yep. Um, I always have access to take a look at it, but now I'm going for something different here. So um, our audience does know a little bit of how to play uh, at this point after watching the overview. Um, so we're just going to kind of yep. get through the punches pretty quickly yep. here. So um, I peeked at two uh, mechanisms, these two, and now I know what those two are um, in case the camera did not see. We'll just do it that way, so you guys can, uh, my turn is done. All right, here we go, I'm gonna roll. I've got a flip, two stacks, or um, same thing with the diagram. Um, the flip doesn't really help me because I don't have any information. Um, the diagram, I'm okay with what I've got. Let's see here, I'm gonna cash these in and pick any action. Um, I'm going to go with disarm of any visible failsafe. Um, I'm going to disarm something Josh has already seen so he doesn't get any new information. And I've got a explosive failsafe, so that's mine. So I get to keep that in front of me. Um, and then the other half of that action is actually to draw a new diagram, um, which is this one. I'm going to set it at, <laughs> I don't, I'm going to solve this. I'm going to set it here and then solve this, nice, the nice. gear, to the gear. So I just point at it and my sequence matches the mechanism. So 
So I've got a point. All I right. put my diagram there. I climb my point counter to one. I've got the key here pointing at it. And then uh, I'm going to solve this diagram. It's the same deal here. I've got a di uh, gear uh, pointing at that. I just happen to draw the two cards, I think, in the whole stack that require you to just point at the gear. Um, I'm at two points now, two diagrams. Um, I've got this, and I've also got, oh boy, what am I going to do? <laughs> Reset. If I place it there, I am now removing, or Josh will lose his progress, and I'll let you do that for etiquette reasons. Um, so now, Josh, his beat, his progress has been interrupted to get the extra action. You have to spend that. And this will be spent, so it's not just, yeah, it costs a resource to uh, cost one of those Fail-safes. Um, yeah, yeah fail-safe to do that. So, my okay. turn's over. So effectively, he locked down my skill bead for a full turn, giving him initiative on the skill bead for the next turn. Um, so it's definitely worth it, because I, I spent um, a turn with that skill bead on that sitting there. So, um, uh, it was a good play. All right, uh, my turn. I'm going to roll. My skill bead I cannot do anything with this turn. Oh, all right. So reveal and a peek. Okay, so this is always to do with the diagrams. I don't really need that right now, and I certainly don't need to peek right now at anything more. Um, I have a good idea of what those two are. I still need to identify those. Um, that's not bad, but I'm kind of, I think I can get there uh, another way. So I need to give myself some more options. I think right now Adam's, he's got two cards, but now he's gonna have to draw. Um, we're trying to get either five or uh, ten points. So five diagrams completed or ten points. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cash these in for a, um, a disarm any failsafe, and that has to be visible failsafe. Uh, this is your visible area. This is your hidden. All right. So I gave him some information now too, but I'm not as worried about that because he doesn't have any diagrams to, to cash in on. Um, and that's good information for me. Now I get to draw a diagram. Okay, so I drew a countermeasure. And the countermeasure has lots of different options. I'm not going to go through all of those for sake of time. But the one I chose to put face up, countermeasures are going to stay in play throughout the game unless I discard them or my opponent discards them through certain ways. Right. Um, this one says trigger when an opponent draws a new diagram. So every time a diagram is drawn, I'm going to be able to cash in. No! On the <laughs> All right. So uh, that's not that's, good for me. That's my turn. My beat is locked down. I can't do anything more. Your turn. My turn. Yep. Here we go. Okay, I got options here now. I've got a, a disarm draw a diagram, which is great because that's what I need to do, and I can get these uh, uh, mechanisms moving around pretty quickly here. And then I've got a re-roll with Dante's skill. Whew, tough choices. Um, all right, first thing I'm gonna do is disarm and draw a new diagram. Okay, I'll take a point. You can talk about it. You can talk <laughs> yeah. about it with Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. So I uh, so the rewards on these aren't just points. Um, this one is a one point plus. I could discard any unsolved diagram. Right. So that gives me options for discarding his countermeasure, which I like, but I'm not seeing any of the mechanisms. Um, I'm looking for a code and a spring. Um, so just looking at these symbols, I know the flip side of each of these. Uh, the levers, the padlock, uh, the gear. So this is the spring, and I know the code is in here somewhere, which I will reveal shortly. So maybe that's not such a bad play. I'm going to put this down this way um, in hopes of getting the discard diagram um, maneuver, so I'm done with that die. Um, this action is a peak at this side here. So 
So Josh doesn't see it. I'm showing okay. you. Um, so that's the side I wanted. Um, but the rest of the action tells me to flip the stack to the side I didn't want, but that's fine. I have information. And then I do a full rotation, oops, of these mechanisms. So now you see, and I know exactly what's facing up on this side. Right. Right. And I've kind of jumbled them up, so it may make it more difficult for him to solve that, or I might have helped him. I don't know. Key, um, key point on this is that you have to do the entire action, so he right. can't just peek and then stop and not do the flip and rotate. Um, you can, you know, you can solve within the middle of an action, but you have to do the full action. So perfect. All and right. then uh, my skill bead, I'm gonna go for a plus one action. Okay. All right. Reveal and a flip. Ooh, um, interesting. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm going for here. Um, it's the gear, the padlock, or I'm sorry, the gear, the code, and the pull. Um, so I actually have the makings of what I need um, if I can flip these over. Um, so I'm gonna, I wonder if I do the rotate or not. Maybe, maybe this turn I'm gonna do one more prep. I'm gonna pull that last fail safe since he knows what it is. I'm gonna cash these in for one more time on that disarm any visible. So I'm taking this one off so now we exposed that code, and I'm going to draw a card here. All right. Um, interesting. I think I want to give myself some big, big options. So I'm going to do another pretty aggressive move uh, for big points. OK, uh, I, this beat is, is available to me. Um, so. Let's see what I want to do. I, I definitely want the action this round. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Go for it. Um, so by the way, the game is played to 10 points um, or five solved di right. completed diagrams. Right. So I've got two out of five. So my rule was a double, um, <laughs> <laughs> double disarm and a double diagram, diagram draw. All of which, whew, Benefit I don't want, me. I don't, I, I can't do any of that. Um, and I don't want to draw. To clarify, since he can't pull a failsafe, disarm a failsafe, it's it's always if possible. So it, he could still do these actions right. and draw cards, right. um, even though he couldn't disarm the failsafe. I do want diagrams. I do want diagrams. It's going to cost me a couple points, but I need diagrams to win the game. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yes. So I'm going to draw a diagram. And, uh, oh, two points. so this is, if I solve this really, really simple one, it allows me to swap any two stacks and or flip any one stack. And this will help me wow. solve this one. <laughs> so hopefully I can trigger and get two in a single turn like I did before. Um, in fact, I can solve this right now. So I'm just going to stop there for a second and go ahead and declare I'm going to solve it. I'm pointing out the code. So I've now completed the diagram. My reward is no points, but I got a third diagram right, to, to five. my five total. And my also, I get another reward, swap any two stacks and or flip any one stack. Well, I know from here, I want to flip that stack, uh, any one stack, perfect. So this is the stack I want to flip. Um, I'm looking for the spring, so I found, yeah, so this is it right here. Now, I know I just told Josh what was, but he can see. He knows what's underneath there. Um, so three diagrams, but I still need to get these, the sequence from left to right. I need code spring in left to right order, and my left to right, not only that, but they need to be in the visible area. So I need to get the spring out, and I need to get it to the right side of the code. So that'll be kind of tricky. Uh, anyways, um, my other diagram I'm drawing for the second. Thank you. I, yeah, that's fine. Yes, yes, yes. So um, here we go. I got a simple uh, fail safe Dang explosive. It. <laughs> explosive. So that gives me one point here. Yeah, so and the fail safe ones that you can cash in, it's more of a cash in. It has nothing to do with this. 
you can just cash it in for if you have the fail safes disarmed uh, for so another solve. So again, yeah. it looks like I'm running away with it, but I got a very lucky combo here, and I got exactly what I am looking for. Yeah, you might. And think it's a different so. strategy. It's a different strategy. Going for the high points and getting right. five. Or yeah, My turn? go go go! All right, so I'm moving this up. Uh, I wait, get wait, 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 wait. an extra. Ooh, the last action. bit of my turn. Go ahead. I didn't do my skill beat, so I when I get to the action plus one, I moved it there on the, at the end of my turn. Now I get to roll this for my additional action. By the way, you are at three points already too. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, disarm. I believe it says an invisible. So. Unfortunately, I'm not getting what I want here, and but I'm going to draw a diagram because I want to solve. This could have been the game. It was not. But now I'm going to put this down at my one-point option because all I want to do now is get my fifth diagram to complete the game. So here we go. I'm putting this down there to get Josh all nervous. I'm nervous. I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. So I need to solve one of these, but I, I need one more point as well. So this is going to be a kind of a big one, um, a big one. All right. So we know that that's the the spring. Uh, we don't need the spring. We need we need to rotate. We need to rotate. Um, all right. Boy, both of these. They're just not quite there. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to, I'm going to do something different here. We're going to cash in to alter. Um, so he's going to take these two dice yep, and yep. do uh, a different. You know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Hold boy. On. Hold on. I'm going to go for the roll because I have an action here. So I'm going to kind of do the all out the all out play here. Um, because in both of these cases, uh, the three that I need are these three. So I'm going to cash this in. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to cash this in for the uh, flip and whatever. Okay. So, so gonna, it's called the, what he's talking uh, about. Yep, yep, it's yep. called the. Uh, Peek at hidden mechanism and it's fail safe. Flip the stack, rotate all four stacks. So all right. So I'm going to play these up so that everyone can kind of see. I need the code. I need this, and I need the pull instead of the push for both of these. Actually, these two, these three are the same, but they're out of order. Um, but for these solvings, I don't. I do not need them in order. I just need them as part of this three combo. Yeah. So this is a trip. This is a potential ten pointer. If I can roll, I'm going to use my last action. Oh no! And I I need a flip. That's what I need. Dang it! Yes! <laughs> Dang it! Yes! <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I mean, basically, you know, he would not know these, but I'm one turn away from cashing in on ten points. And yep, and then uh, that would he only needs a I, five and a one I to win, so he's right. much closer to victory. Your However, turn. um. You got it because Josh doesn't know this, but it's game over right now. Yeah, because yeah. for this one point here, and I just need one because I just need one diagram, I need a key. I know the key is on the other side of the the code. Yep. So all I need to do is cash these in. For a flip. For any action of my choice, flip any two. Yep. So I'm gonna flip these two. And now I'm gonna I choose to solve this one. The key, Josh. <laughs> this is the key. Boom. So, so as an example, my, my you win. You win. That was a good diagram. Name. Well done. Well done. As an uh, example, uh, because he didn't solve these last turn, it means that something under here is is what he needs. Now, if I could have identified that, Charlie's uh, skill, just so you know, is it allows me to put this onto a stack and therefore lock it in place. It can't be flipped. So there's other ways around locking people down and holding off, but uh, but that was a good play. Uh, nice job, Adam. Yep, okay, good game.